Kia ora pa. Thank you for letting us interview you today. We would like to ask you a few questions about your life. Oh, kia ora, Peyton. Um, tēnā koutou katoa, um, Whaia Joe, uh, Wai and Abby. Good to be with you here this morning. Thank you for this invitation to answer your questions. And, and uh, Peyton, what, what is your first question today? Where were you born and raised? Where was I born and raised? Well, I was born in Heratanga, which translates from the Māori into English as Hastings in Hawke's Bay. And my mother took me home to Duke Street near Cornwall Park. And there with my dad, I gradually got to know um, two other sisters and a brother, Paul, who lives here in, in Wairau. Um, I was raised in Hastings. And so I used to go to St Mary's Catholic Primary School and then across the city in St Joseph's Catholic Primary School. And then in 1960, I went to St John's College or High School for my education. Can you tell us a few things about your whānau? Well... You have to remember that um, my dad, he asked my mother to marry him in 1940. And mum said no, because she realised that he, dad, was going to go away for what we call the Second World War, 1940-1944. But when dad came home, he asked this beautiful young lady again and said, um, now, Jocelyn, um, will you marry me? And she said, yes. So they were married on November the 24th, 1945, in Sacred Heart Church in Hastings. And then, as I said before, there was, I'm the oldest, and then we had um, Marilyn, who'll be 70 on April the 9th this year, and then uh, Paul, who lives here in Wairau, and Gerardine, who lives in, uh, in um, Tamaki Makoro or, or Auckland. Um, yes, so I was basically the oldest child and, as it were, the pioneer in many things. <laughs> what are some of your favourite things to do when you're not serving your people as a priest? Right. When I'm not serving people as a priest, well, one of my primary loves is fishing. So basically, I, I, um, I love uh, trout fishing. So when I was about 12 or 13, my dad used to take me out fishing, sea fishing, first of all, down at Clive and Homawana and all the river mouths and down near Napier and Hastings. And that's where I got my love of fishing and then I used to have a lot of sea fishing, but when I was 12 or 13, Dad introduced me to trout fishing, which I really love. And so while I'm a priest, I've been going trout fishing up to Waikaramoana, the Waikaritaheke River stream that flows through the Puka Puka Station, and uh, Lake um, Tutira. I love going there for fishing, and sometimes I take my tent and just have a, a rest on the, on the Sunday night and fish earlier in the morning on um, on the Monday morning. So that's what I, and then also I like um, tramping, um, walking, reading, cooking. Um, yeah, so those sort of things keep, keep me out of mischief, Peyton. What are some of the special memories you will take with you of your time here at St. Peter's Parish, Whitehall? Thank you, Wai, for your question. Why, I, I have many memories, but I think basically it's about the people. The people of the threefold community of faith. The families, the kaumata, kaumatua, the queer, um, the children, and the tamariki, the rangatahi, the younger people. Um, being there at Tafatia Maru, 
and involved with the people in their tangihanga, in their weddings, their baptisms. Um, being here in the parish of St. Peter's and being here in the school. Um, I suppose I've really loved being in the school because the young people, the children, the tamariki, are very friendly, very welcoming. They've always made me part of their activities, whether it's sport or Wednesday church prayers or teaching in their classroom or interviewing me at the different times. Um, I've enjoyed I've enjoyed that. Um, I've enjoyed being with the Maori people, um, where I've learnt a new language, the Te Reo Maori, and I've got a better sort of vision of of life and way of looking at things through being associated with that language and with those people. Um, I've worked I've enjoyed working within the school with the principal the the board of trustees, the teachers over the years, and, and coming to um, to know them. But I suppose one of the bigger things is just, as a priest, just being there for people, being there with their hopes and their dreams, their times of sadness, their times of celebrations, and just basically um, loving them and they loving me. And Wairo is a great town, eh? We have a few mischiefs, but basically it's a town that where people, um, many people, I don't know who they are, but they wave out and greet me and welcome me um, when I'm moving around the town, the Wairo and districts. Everybody up and here, let me hear you say, yeah, yeah. 